Thank you. This is a fresh lecture. I've not used PowerPoint before either, so you're going to be all on a new adventure with me. Uh, in addition to publishing books, many books, different kinds of books, small books, go ahead, please. Okay, and you go ahead to the next image. Um, and the next image. Uh, including a lot of book art, as well as expository books and anthologies. I've go on a little bit more. Paperback, hardback, perfect bound, saddle stitched. I've also been writing for media. This was an exhibition in Amsterdam last summer. And this was an exhibition at the University of North Dakota in 1990, 1980, 1980. Okay, I've also worked at studios with processing equipment. The first was a radio station in 1975, 37 years ago, where I discovered multi-tracking. No. Yes. Stop. No. Please. Answer. Relax. Insist. Don't. Just like. No. Like. Poo. Grumble. Grumpy. Kiss. Yum. See. Yes. Stimulate. Resist. Frustrated. Control. Zero. Talented. Charming. Thanks. Extra. Ordinary. Frigid. Horny. Sorry. Okay. Ambivalent. Suppose. Touch. Nice. Feel. Oh. Spread. Groove. Twist. Erect. Closer. Less. Warmer. No. To consider. Later. And. Maybe. Wet. Warm. Uh, Wet. John. Wet. Not. Pull. Okay. Down. Address. Gentle. Man. Easy. Protection. Sure. Succeed. Success. Excellent. Slow. Can't. Please. Don't. Impatient. Wait. Relax. Ease. Better. Okay. Strong. Soft. Up. Hard. Words. Onwards. Deeper. Over. Later. Speed. Again. Faster. Yes. Good. Go. Better. Best. Ow. Ow! Euphoria. My God. Together. Great. Congratulations. Encore. Later. Fine. Thanks. Welcome. Excelsior. Now, I worked at a radio station which had stereo, so both works, so I was late at night, only one person was there, me, so I figured, okay, both voices will be mine. And so it becomes a self-seduction of a kind that I could not do in print. And later that year, I was invited to a video studio, 1975, Syracuse University, Synapse, where I was offered machinery that could create abstract, evocative shapes to enhance the same text. Thank you. No, that, oh, yes, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. It's from 1975 video, 1975 videotape. Same text, Excelsior. Let's. No. Yes. Stop. Now. Please. Later. Relax. Insist. Don't. Dislike. No. Like. Poop. Grumble. Grumpy. Kiss. Yum. See. Yes. Stimulate. Resist. Frustrated. Control. Virile. Talented. Charming. Thanks. Extra. Ordinary. Frigid. Horny. Sorry. Okay. Ambivalent. Suppose. Touch. Nice. Feel. Oh. Spread. Groove. Twist. Closer. Erect. Warmer. Let's. No. Reconsider. Later. Hand. Maybe. Wet. Ah. Warmer. John. Let's. Not. Let's. Yes. Pull. Undress. Down. Gentle. Man. Easy. Protection. Sure. Succeed. Success. Excellent. Slow. Can't. Please. Don't. Impatient. Ouch. Relax. Better. Okay. Strong. Soft. Hard. Upwards. Onwards. Deeper. Over. Later. See. Again. Faster. Yes. Good. Go. Better. Best. Ow. Ah. Euphoria. Oh my God. Together. Great. Congratulations. Encore. Later. Fine. Thanks. Welcome. Excelsior. Sure. So I could do in video. <laughs> You know, the embarrassing thing, I was the very first video I ever made in, in a couple of minutes at Syracuse University, and Nam Jung Paik, who was very much the guru of video art in America, always thought it was the best video I ever made. <laughs> Fish, do you have something? Is, is that bar, is that bar of the text, or is that a 2011 power text? <laughs> yeah, for 2011 power text, yeah, yeah, come on. Uh, so I, what I discovered from the beginning, I was making videos without a camera, using the letter-making machine, or the abstract machine, the letter-making machine is called in English the character generator. 
And you'll see some over here on the side, silent videotapes, both sides, um, which made text programs available. They also have something called an Amiga computer, since deceased, that made some incredible letter programs. What you see on both sides are videos. Um, one is poems. This is fictions, and that's poems. And there are 99 parts that are randomly organized. And they just come up one after another. There's no length to them. And I like to have them shown at the, in the lobbies of film festivals. OK. As a, guest, as a guest artist in a graduate animation film class at Columbia University, I made two animated films. The first, a development of my fiction, which is a, called a construct. I was making visual fictions of line drawings that metamorphose in systemic sequence, which I call constructivist fictions, out of artistic constructivism. Once animated, these are quite different from the turning the page. Second film, also from 1975, contains text. Please. Shoot the films, yep. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the first video, one of the first videos I made. Um, sorry, I, I skipped ahead in my speech. And here's the character generator making my stories. Okay, here's the constructivist fiction. Oh, no, I'm sorry, we just showed those, so forgive me, let's go on. Okay, then I started to make holograms. Hologram, hologram, come up, hologram. Yeah, okay, this is a multiplex, which is a hologram made with film, 1978. It's circular sentences about holography, syntactically circular sentences. In the beginning, let's see. Oh, oh, gosh. The syntactically circular sentences, in the beginning was the word that began, in the beginning was the word that began, in the beginning was the word that began. <laughs> Go ahead and play it and show it. Um, there's some, these are about holography. They're sort of hard to read. And they exist within a cylinder that's, I think, um, 19 centimeters in, in diameter. And there should be five levels of, of writing there. These things are hard to photograph. But anyway, this is, so this tactically certain circular sentence, holos equals hologram, picture in, in all dimensions, things like that. Okay, then I made a reflection hologram. I'm sorry, transmission hologram. Next image, please. Transmission hologram is the light comes from behind. Where is it? Oh, here we are, here we are, okay. The light comes from behind, and actually it's a two-sided transmission hologram, very complicated, with levels of, of, of letters, as you can see. Most of the credit cards you see have, trans or have reflection holograms. The light comes at them. The art hologram, the light comes from behind. It's, holography is a very sad art. It comes out in the late 60s. It gets developed the same time as video. It's very difficult to make. And it's even worse now because the film has disappeared. And it's just, I used to have a joke that there were a million videographers, near all of them amateur, and 100 holographers, near all of them professional. I think I was the only amateur holographer that I knew. Go ahead, one more image from the same hologram. Okay, next, and what we have next here. Okay, then I, I started to make, I started to do Hirschspiel in Germany, of initially for Sender Freies Berlin, then for the Westdeutsche Rundfunk. And these are audio pieces I decided to make visual accompaniments to. This is something done for Westdeutsche Rundfunk. Please. Sorry, what? Just have to do the presentation to show the video. Okay, okay. It was a, a fugue of the Gospels with Das Evangelium. 
and I was doing abstract visuals with an Amiga computer. Again, the Amiga is gone. Der Anfang des Evangeliums von Jesus Christus, dem Sohn Gottes. Im Anfang war so das Wort, Propheten und das Wort war bei Gott, und das Wort Siehe, war ich Gott. sende meinen Boten vor dir her, der deinen Weg bereiten soll. Alle, soll. alle Dinge sind das durch das Wort gemacht, und, und, und ohne das Wort ist nicht gemacht. Für alles, was Herrn, geworden ist, war ihm das, das Leben, Leben. und das Leben war das Licht der Menschen. Johannes der Täufer war in der Wüste und verkündigte die Taufe der Wüste zu verkehren. Und es gingen zu ihm hinaus das ganze jüdische Land und alle Leute aus Jerusalem. ließen sich von ihm im Jordan taufen und bekannten dabei ihre Sünden. Johannes aber trug ein Gewand aus Kamelhaar und einen ledernen Gürtel und aß Heuschrecken und wilden Honig und verkündete, es kommt einer nach mir, der ist stärker als ich. Er war in der Welt, nicht gut aber die Welt ist nicht gut genug, sich vor und die Riemen aber die Welt seiner Schuhe zu lösen. Ich taufe euch mit Wasser, er aber wird euch mit dem Heiligen Geist taufen. Es begab as you can see, it looks like they're speaking to that film, but they're not. That film was made much later, much, 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 uh, several years later. Okay, in 2001, I was invited to the MIT Media Lab, which I guess is the equivalent of something here, where they produced a multi-projection that is recorded on this DVD. Now, it looks like several video projections, but it actually came from a single hard disk. The piece was called My Life in and of Words because it draws upon autobiographical texts. Go ahead with the next. Actually, here, this is a still image of when it was later reproduced of the kitchen, which is in a media space in New York City. But here's a film made of it. I did for Best Deutsche Rundfunk about the sound of New York City.
Six projections going on here. Now, up to now, I've used words and only words, except for those drawings and sequence, which are meant to be linear fictions. So I've come to think about opportunities made for using language in new media. In the 1980s, I made with Martin Kerber, who's here tonight, several films about the Great Jewish Cemetery of Berlin Weissensee. We made six different 16 millimeter films that became increasingly, with the same footage but different soundtracks in different languages, it became increasingly hard to show six films. I've only actually shown them only three or four times over the past 25 years. But I made a DVD, as you can see here, where the six films are lined up in six different languages. And, and then I made a, a narration in English to explain the footage, which I, would, I often had to explain when I showed the footage. And then we did a, a, a Martin did a uh, Hirschbiel for, for Rios, so we put that on the DVD. And then I tried, and then I put the English translations of the printed texts on the DVD. And then I tried to experiment, which, We'll see how it goes, where I have the narration in one ear and the German, in French, English, and, and Spanish soundtracks in the other ear so that you can vary the, if you have a stereo audio system, vary the, the left right, or you can move your earphones around. I, I actually have heard them both in live time and don't mind hearing them together, but that's just me. But again, I'm using the DVD to publish in a way that we, would not have been possible 20, 30 years ago. Now, for the last part, of we're going to do something really special. Over the years, my work has appeared on websites made by various, produced by various people. We're now going to click on some of them and see what results, please. This first was done by a British literary magazine online called Great Works. What I'm seeing down there is not on the screen behind you. Okay, now it is, okay. Is working, of course. So I was working with um, what I call what I call these inserts, where I, I raise certain letters within a word to make other words. Again, only in English. I have actually have done one German poem. I actually have a video of it. I forgot about that poem. Huh. String Sieben. Overla <laughs> overla of overlapping German words. It's called a string. But I've, it's not here. Meanwhile, look at my stuff on the side here. We, we'll let, we like it. <laughs> this just goes by itself. You can't move. You can't make it go any faster. <laughs> okay. As far as I can tell, it's kind of slow. Again, if anybody has any questions, please, please ask them because this is just going to go silently. These are animated poems on that side and fictions on this side. Fictions usually involve going from one place to another, so a degree of narrative, and poems are about compression. So this is about, this is about, uh, um, about uh, palindromic words, right? Pa and, and whatnot. So that's a wit witty poem about, you know, P-R-O, as you can see. Made it move faster. Again, with the old-fashioned character generator. This is about 16 words that are, relate to each other. Here we go, okay, appearance. Appearance, appearance, okay. appearance, pair, pair, a pair, here. <laughs> oh, anyway, uh, so, sorry. yeah. Uh, I've, 
done a lot of words with, I've done a lot of work with one word poems. I mean, that's, that's a terrain nobody else has gone into. I do, I, do, I do many different moves within one word poems. In this case, by capitalizing certain letters within the poem, I bring out other words. So I call them inserts. That's what these are up here. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to see more. Of one word poems? I, I, I started with three word poems. I made it less. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm very interested in, in, in literary minimalism, radical minimalism. Archaic state, probably, yeah, that's probably true. Or, or that's one way of doing it. I mean, there are probably archaic words. You can make it consistent. It's a good idea. So if, you want, if you don't want the idea, I'm going to take the idea of finding the archaic word within a contemporary word by, emphasis, by pulling out, by pull, making, it, making capitals, making a visual move of some kind or other. Again, those are fictions. This is, again, I can't make this go any faster. It's these guys in Britain. The, 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 um, the websites get more complicated. As you'll see, this is a simple one. <laughs> How did you decide on the colors? I didn't do it, they did it. The, 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 uh, Random. I don't know what they did. They're in Britain. I never, I never met them. I, I, if you publish in literary magazines, and now online literary magazines, there are a lot of guys you never meet uh, and never, never speak to, which I rather like, because too much of art activity is done by, as we say in English, kissing ass. <laughs> I didn't say it. Okay, I <laughs> mean, you heard me right. <laughs> okay, well, why don't you go to the next one? I, I, I'm bored with this guy. This guy doesn't go. This guy's not very good. <laughs> okay, here the addition of a single letter changes, changes a word. But they instead, I, I would set it up so that you would not see the magic letter, but they capitalize the magic letter to to change jar on to jar gone. It's the same guys in England. I'm not crazy about what they did. Oh, but here, no, here's something different. Oh, I see. They show you the G. That's how. Then they show you the C. Then what are they going to do next? Okay. So the kit and the hen become kitchen. Okay. Okay. Go to the next one. This is better. This is much better. I, I've been working also with aphorisms recently, and I became interested in circular aphorisms. You got to click. Got to click. Now try those. These get more interesting. <laughs> but again, I use circular sentences in the hologram as well. No, no, keep this, this, this guy. This guy's got to watch for a while. <laughs> one can see the, the the circumference in the center. One can see this in the center. On one can see the circumference in the center. On okay, and the other one is. Um, I don't know. I can't figure. I can't read it fast enough. Books without a beginning and an end in reading experiences available only in books without you know, Okay, that's it. Next one. Oh, no, 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 go, go back, go back, go back. I think they're more, they're more available. Yeah, go to the next over on the right there. Yeah, thank you, thank you. These guys are good. <laughs> multiplying like rabbits, multiplying, I love that one. <laughs> okay, there you can see over there the, 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 uh, the uh, well, they're already gone. Uh, the uh, the uh, palindromic words. Okay, do, we not do the next one. Again, I, I offered these magazines my texts and say, do something with them. And that's the only way I can know. This comes out of John Cage. John Cage had this great notion of you offer somebody a text with rules to realize them and let them do a realization you cannot imagine for yourself. Yeah, yeah sure. Correct. And actually, uh, I really like uh, the English expression that you are uh, falling in love because knowledge you are falling one if you are in love. Um, 
You, you get the Literary Criticism Prize of the evening. Thank you very much. <laughs> Multiple readings are available in any good English. But, but again, the, the circularity gives an emphasis you're not going to get if you see it just as, as a linear term. And that's what I'm trying to do in the new media, is publish and get meanings in a way you can't get in the printed page, although I still make printed pages. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> it's really fantastic. Okay, let's do the next one. See if there's the next one. Yeah. Can I get some more water, please? Can I have a glass over here? Thank you. When you say we never met the guys in the Great Britain, this is exercise and so on before, does it make you uncomfortable that like, using the internet as, as art space or media, it's not really your own doing anymore? Or, or John Cage, John Cage. John Cage was the composer. Other people did the realizations. Mm. Uh, that doesn't bother me. I wish sometimes but some guys do it better than others. <laughs> I never met these guys either. I'm not even sure I know who they are. Oh, I know who they are, yes. No, I don't. Oh, these are people in Texas, Dawn Pendergast in Houston, Texas. Who oh, did that? Or somebody did it with her. This is amazing. Okay, one more? You want to move? It means one wants to go ahead? Is that what you want? <laughs> okay. Are you applauding Houston, Texas? Because you're from Houston, Texas? <laughs> Okay, are they gonna move this one? Is it gonna move? You're supposed to click on it to make it move. Click on the circle to make it move. No, it doesn't want to move? Okay. Moves. No, it's not turning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not turning. No. Okay, next one. Okay, that's it we got. Okay. So then the next one is called uh, One Letter Changes. I guess this is from a magazine called Action Yes. Yeah. Now you have to click on things. Mouse around as it says. And you're going to see pairs of words where if you change one letter, you get a whole totally different meaning. Ledge to lodge, ring to rung. Again, this is all English. You can't translate it. Come to home. But they somehow make sentences in the one letter change. OK, try endings. Let's see if this one works. Endings we have some problems with because the website was down. And if somebody found another way to find it. Let's see if it works. Yeah, okay, just click, click on another end. These are, these are ending sentences. The ending sentences of possible stories. And again, now in this case, of course, you can create your own reading speed. I do like working with where you, the reader can control the speed, as you saw in the epiphanies from 1975 of the single sentence stories. Here, the reader can control the speed. Uh, these guys are in New York, and I have met one of them, but not the guy who did the thing. There's a, a group in New York called Triple Camet Canopy of guys in their 30s, some of whom think they invented the light bulb, but they do pretty well in technological, or interest in technological writing. Nobody laughed at that joke since by inventing the light bulb? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, continue cl clicking on another end there. Just until it gets, uh, I mean, there are many of them, I guess. Okay, any questions? You can see, the, oh, that's a, that's a string over there, but that's a string is in English. I've done one in German as well. It was published in an Austrian literary magazine in the 1980s, the German one, edited by Otto Breischer. Can anybody remember the name of the magazine? Protocol, Protocol. And so therefore, I'm a published German poet. I always like to say that. OK, let's go on to the next one, please. The, this was done again for these people, Action Yes, which I, who I guess are in, in, located in Indiana and Notre Dame. You know, I, I was a guest at a Swedish university where they translated my single sentence stories. So just click on them. And the translation appears in the same place. I think that's really nifty. <laughs> I'm wondering, uh, all that you showed us today is somehow dependent or integrated with technology. How, how do you see technology? 
Opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. I do not believe it will replace the printed page. I think the books will continue to survive. I'm certainly continue to, to make books, but again, enables me to do something I can't do with printed pages. Okay, uh, how's your Swedish, gang? Is the translation okay? Translation okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go to, to you next, Martin. And so I asked Martin, who's sitting beside me here, is that your work? Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, play this one. This one, this one just came in uh, earlier this last week. It's not good, <laughs> but I want to show it anyway. <laughs> oh, you can't find it? They already destroyed it? Oh, they already destroyed it. Okay, I told them it wasn't any good. <laughs> okay, forget about that one. Would you, uh, and incidentally, incidentally, that's the nifty thing about publishing on the internet. If they, do, if they screw it up, you can say, guys, you screwed it up, and they take it away. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> this, is, this, done, this was done by Martin, who's sitting beside me now. Notice the periods or full stops, as the British would say. That's what makes that's what makes it a fiction. Oh no, there's there's, there's the German string. See the German string over there? Overlapping German words. Again, you can't control that video. That video is utterly out of control. <laughs> it just comes up one after another. I guess so. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, he's the publisher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, I'm supposed to have a workshop tomorrow. I gather in the office? Yes, at 10. At 10 o'clock, at which point I'd love to see. H2051. One more time. Room. Anybody can memorize that, come on. <laughs> Write it down, gang. Um, in which I'd love to see any work you people have done. I also, as you can see, like to have other people do my work, work with my texts. And if you'd like to work with me, I, it, it's what a, uh, we call an American internship, except my internships are project internships where people do something that they know how to do but haven't quite done before, and I help them realize it, and they put their name on it. So I don't even have to write a letter that said they did something. They did it. And so my interns have had quite successful careers afterwards. I'm also going to be showing the, the cemetery films at a, at a location I can't remember, sponsored by the DAD Kunstler Program at 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Uh, if anybody wants to see them, I'll, I'll try to figure out where, where they are. I forgot. Okay, thank you very much.